looking at the supply and demand imbalance in terms of cell manufacturing in, 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 in Europe, there is a significant, significant uh, supply deficit. So customers are all of the OEMs, both in continental Europe and in the UK. OK, well, that's good to hear. So, look, I've already mentioned the aforementioned Nissan and the amazing things they've done for, you know, let's be honest about it, since the Thatcher era uh, in Sunderland as well. Is it potentially possible to match the aspirations of the UK government to have six of these so-called gigafactories and to have a golden age of, of UK automobile manufacture? Or actually, is that just not possible, given, dare I say it, the constraints imposed by Brexit? It's a very good question. No, I mean, looking at the British role proposition by itself, we are looking to level up the Northeast. That's first and foremost. Secondly, the foresight of the UK government, going back to 2015, looking at the Automotive Council, when they set up a working group to understand the impact of electrification on the UK auto industry. I mean, that led to three major pillars as a foundation of a second to none ecosystem globally for lithium ion cell manufacturing. They changed the approach from fundamental funding fundamental research to applied research, writing problem statements to be solved that are more closely aligned with industrial commercial outcomes, allowing universities to bid for funding through the Faraday Institute. Uh, they set up collaborative R&D funding provided uh, to industry through Innovate UK in order to enable good early stage ideas to be demonstrated in conjunction with industry. And most importantly, the UK Battery Industrialization Centre, another £127 million government investment. These three pillars create an ecosystem that has allowed British Rail to propel into the position that it is today, to build the first full large scale low carbon sustainable battery production up in the northeast that by itself will enable another three four five six gigafactories to be built in uk hi i'm joanna bersacci and thank you for watching you can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from cnbc international thank you for watching